never go with any kind of an intention of over confidence always go with a real confidence what exactly you are supposed to do is very very simple always remember there is this formula c is equal to s minus v c is equal to f plus p so s minus v is equal to f plus p how to find pv pv is equal to selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit divided by selling price per unit into 100 Hello everybody, a warm welcome to One and All. I'm Avilash Chandra from the Department of Commerce and Management in Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Welcome to all the students for the fifth chapter, the Sure Shot. Now, when we go with the fifth chapter, the chapter name is called Marginal Costing. Now, in Marginal Costing, what all are the questions which gonna come? So, let's look into the first question here. So whenever you go with anything, they'll always ask you to compute. When I say the word compute, that means calculate. They have given you something like contribution, PV ratio, BEP, MOS, sales and profit. That means sales is given, find profit. Profit is given, find sales. Then marginal cost statement, I'll just teach you what exactly the marginal cost statement is. If you have watched all the videos of marginal costing, you will not get any problem. This is a chapter where you can actually score more. So would never leave this chapter, very easy chapter than comparing all other chapters here. Then you have a question called make or buy decision. What if you are supposed to make a product? What if if you are supposed to buy a product, you are supposed to advise the management whether they will make the product or by the product so here when we go with the questions here please do understand that so what exactly the problem is let's go with it the following data are extracted from the record of azad company limited they have given a question and they have asked us marginal cost statement pv ratio margin of safety bp in units and sales profit when sales are rupees 20 lakhs so very very simple problem is what they have actually given now the word simple why did i use this because i'm been doing this since a long time if you start practicing it even for you it will be very simple so let's go with the first one here the marginal cost statement how to go with the marginal cost statement is very simple we go with uh, two things one is here particulars i'll just write it and then here is the amount column which I'll go with it. So the first one, particulars. And then we'll go with amount. So denote that as rupees. And here you write marginal cost statement, right? Completely marginal cost statement. Now, what does this marginal cost statement is? Always remember there is this formula C is equal to S minus V, C is equal to F plus P. So s minus v is equal to f plus p now understand marginal cost statement is only to find profit so i'll shift this fixture also here s minus v minus f is equal to p so this is what the format of marginal cost statement is so the first one is what sales so i'll take sales here sales now what exactly the sales is go with the question here when we go with the question Selling price per unit is how much? 20. Direct material is 5. Direct labor is 4. Variable overhead is 3. They have given the budgeted level. The word budgeted means standard. What the company has given. Level of output and sales is 80,000 units. That means they have sold and they have manufactured 80,000 units. The fixed cost is rupees 3,60,000 per annum. So now understand sales in the sense what? For one unit it is called selling price. For the total units if you calculate that becomes sales. That means 20 into 80,000. So 2 is 16 that means how much? 16 lakh is what our sales is. Now we'll go with that. Sales is how much? 16 lakh. Then this is how the sales will go with. After that, minus, see here, sales have taken minus variable cost. So what exactly the variable cost is? Minus variable cost. Which are the variable cost? Now, according to this problem, the variable cost is DM is a variable cost. DL is a variable cost. Overhead is also a variable cost. So I'll write here DM. Next is DL. Next is variable overheads. So these are the done. Now DM is how much? 
five five into eighty thousand five eight zero is forty. So how much you will actually get? Uh, five eight zero in the sense uh, forty. So it is four lakhs. Here we get how much? Four lakh. Next DL is that now DL in the sense four eight zero is how much? Thirty two. So we get three lakh twenty thousand. Three lakh twenty thousand. Next is VO that is variable overhead is how much? Three into eighty thousand. So three into eighty in the sense you get twenty four. So it is two lakh forty thousand. Two lakh forty thousand. So my variable cost is also done. Sales is done. Variable cost is done. So sales minus variable cost. Sales minus variable cost is what? Contribution. So I'll write here contribution. Now you need to calculate what is the contribution. Say here we have sixteen. So very fast we'll do it. One sixty minus forty minus thirty two minus twenty four is equal to sixty four. In the sense six lakh forty thousand is what I got contribution. Six lakh forty thousand rupees. After that minus is what. Fixed. So minus fixed cost. How much is the fixed cost here? Fixed cost is three lakh sixty thousand. So I'll write here three lakh sixty thousand rupees. Now whatever I get, that is called my profit. So I'll write my profit like this. So I'll go with this. Six lakh forty thousand. Six lakh forty thousand minus three lakh sixty. Thousand is equal to two lakh eighty thousand is what my profit is. So two lakh eighty thousand. So eighty thousand is the profit. This is how the marginal cost, that is marginal cost statement of which company is it? Of Azad Company Limited. So I'll write here of Azad uh, Company Limited. That, that's it. So I'm done with my marginal cost statement. Now the next one is what I need to find. PV is equal to how to find PV? PV is equal to selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit divided by selling price per unit into hundred. Now selling price how much it was? Now selling price was twenty. I'll go with this is equal to twenty minus variable cost. See per unit also you can go with the PV. Five plus four is nine. Nine plus uh, three in the sense twelve. So I'll go here minus twelve divided by twenty into hundred. So twenty minus twelve is how much you get here? Eight divided by twenty into hundred. One zero one zero get cancelled. Now two ones are two. Four is four into ten is equal to how much? Forty percent. So you have forty percent is what your PV is. So PV is also done. Now understand PV is done. Next is margin of safety. When I say margin of safety, please do understand the word margin of safety. MOS. MOS is equal to profit by PV is equal to how much is the profit here? See profit we have taken two lakh eighty thousand. So two lakh eighty thousand divided by PV is how much? Forty percent. If you do it, you get MOS. Next is BEP in units and sales. BEP in units and sales. I'll just erase this for you people. Chalo. Now margin of safety is on BEP in units. Whenever we go with BEP in units, I'll just write it here. BEP in units is equal to fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. Contribution per unit. How to calculate contribution per unit? Very simple. Contribution per unit is equal to selling price minus variable cost per unit. Selling price is how much? Twenty minus five plus four plus three is twelve. So contribution is how much? Contribution is equal to eight. So here fixed cost is how much? Three lakh sixty thousand. Divided by eight. So take your calc here. Three lakh sixty thousand divided by eight is equal to forty-five thousand. Is what our 
BAP in units 45,000. Don't write rupees, it is units. So I got 45,000 units. The same way if you go with it, let's make a column here. BEP sales is equal to. Now sales in the sense what? You have fixed cost divided by PV. Now fixed cost is how much? 3,60,000. PV is how much? 40%. How much is the PV? 40%. So 3 lakh 60. 3 lakh 60,000 divided by 40 percentage is 9 lakh. So how much is it? 9 lakh. 9 lakh rupees. So if you make a sales of 9 lakh rupees, you are in neither loss nor profit. That is what the BEP is. And here you have 45,000 units. That is what you are supposed to sell. Now, 45,000 units into 20. Let's go with this. Understand how to calculate 45,000 into 20 is equal to 9 lakh. So this is how you will get to know that it is all correct. So units is 45,000. Selling price is 20. 45,000 units into 20. So you got 9 lakh. That is how the relation between BEP units and BEP sales is all about. Next, profit when sales are rupees 20 lakh. So what exactly will be the profit if the sales are 20 lakh rupees? So I told you what exactly you are supposed to do. I'll just erase this for you people here. Now whenever sale is equal to profit is equal to. Now profit when sales are 20 lakh is what the question is. So very simple. Go with the formula. PV is equal to F plus P divided by S. Now here sales 20 lakh you put fix it. They have only given 3 lakh 60 thousand profit. You are supposed to calculate PV already calculated that as 40 percent. So here what you will go with 40 percent is equal to F in a sense 3 lakh 60 thousand in the problem plus P is what you are supposed to find sales they have given that as 20 lakh. Now go with the cross multiply and get the profit that is how you all solve the questions. Next they can give you a question like this your sales total cost see the minute they give total cost you need to convert that into profit. You need to convert that into profit. So what is how will that you convert is very simple that is total cost plus profit is equal to sales right. So Total cost is how much? 3,60,000 plus profit you don't know is equal to sales is how much? 4 lakh. So what will be added so that it will be 4 lakh in the sense? 40,000. So the 2020 profit is how much? 40,000. Next the same way here. 5 lakh 20 is there? 5 lakh 20 minus in the sense 6 lakh minus 5 lakh 20 is how much? That is 80,000. So my profit here is 80,000 and then compute PV ratio you know whenever the change is there of two years the profit and the sales will always change so PV ratio formula is what the PV formula for two years sales and profit is, is equal to delta delta in the sense change change in profit divided by change in sales into 100 that means here 80,000 minus See current year minus previous year. Now here which is the current year in this problem is this is the current year. This is the previous year. 2021 minus 2020 is what you are supposed to do. Now here 80 minus 40 is how much? 40,000 divided by. Now here 6 lakh minus 4 lakh in the sense how much you get? Here 2 lakh into 100. 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 here 1 2 3 4. So 1 2 3. So one's a, this is a two, two's a zero. So how much here you get is 20 percentage. So this is how you people need to actually go with it. So after that margin of safety for two years, MOS, the formula is profit by PV. So profit by PV, profit by PV. Next is BEP, BEP in the sense fixed cost you are supposed to find. So how to find fixed cost in the sense to find fixed cost in two year sales to your profit, please use this formula PV is equal to F plus P divided by S. Now PV is how much 20 percentage you will actually get is equal to 
F I don't know plus P in the sense. Now any one year profit you take the same year sales you should take. That is how you will go with. Say I have taken here uh, 40,000. So the sales is how much here? 4 lakh. Now go with the cross multiplication you get your fixed cost. So that is how you are supposed to go with. Please do watch the season and the sessions of marginal costing and you will get all the formulas, all the problems. That is how we are supposed to go with. So any doubt regarding this session, please do call us. That is how you people need to go with. The next question here is ABC Company Limited, which produces washing machine. Now they have given something like that. This type of question can come for 10 marks. So please be ready. This is called make or buy decision. So whenever the question is like this, make or buy, always I told you a trick how to remember this and how to solve this. Whatever the question they give, always subtract the fixed cost or the fixed expenses. Now what is the question is, cost per unit is given. The same is available in the market at 120 rupees. That means if you make and if you buy, what will be the things? If you buy, it is 120 rupees. There is a product called X. Okay, this is the product. If you make, how much is it? 50 plus 25 plus 15 plus 10. So 50 plus 25 is 75. 75 plus 15 in the sense 90. 90 plus 10 is 100. But I told you, whenever you make a product, you are supposed to subtract fixed expenses. So that means 90 rupees. To make it as 90, to buy it as 120. So now you tell me what is that you will do? Will you make the product or buy the product? So you will definitely go with make the product. The first question is, Advise the management whether they will make the product or buy. So the first situation is what? We will make the product. What will be your decision if the supplier offer at 80 rupees? Now the new advises to make is 90, now to buy it is 80. Now what will I do is I'll definitely buy the product because 10 rupees is what I'll be saving from this decision. So I'll go with the same kind of a thing. So working note is very simple. Write all that, then you write while making the product, we are supposed to deduct fixed cost. Again, you write this. So 50, you will deduct this 50 plus 25 plus 15 total. It is 90 rupees. So to make a product, it is 90, but to buy a product, it is 120. Though they have given a situation of lockdown also, they'll give no issues. I'll make the product. The second B part is, will I make or buy? Again, you go with the same. Again, you subtract fixed cost. Again, you write the same thing, write 90 rupees and buying value is how much? 80. So I'll save 10 rupees. That is how you are supposed to go with. See here, when I go with that, always A, I'll make the product. B, I'll buy the product. So your conclusion how you give that is how you get the marks very very simple it is so thank you so much for watching and if you have taken any kind of a suggestion from me that is actually very good if you like the video please do share the video as well thank you so much i'll see you when i see you